Gary. Lovely to see you again. Uh, thanks for joining us. I was actually chatting to you a few months back for RoboCop as well. Yeah. And uh, I'm incredibly embarrassed. I want to apologise, first of all. I didn't realise, but I'm wearing exactly the same clothes as the last time. So, sorry about that. Yes, you are. Yeah, I know. That's I... terrible. You've changed, you've washed them since, though. Um, well, because I was chatting last time, I thought I wouldn't. Um, I just grew that attached to them, so sorry about that, first of all. Um, what was the appeal about Dawn of the Planet of the Apes that you thought, yeah, I want to be a part of this film? Planet of the Apes, or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, had a particular appeal because I was... Um, it's part of my childhood. And... Uh, it isn't. It isn't every day that you get a phone call. You know, do you want to? Do you want to be in Planet of the Apes? So I was kind of especially excited because it, it, it was. It is. It's just such a part of my childhood. From I saw the first one when I was ten. I remember the TV series that really only ran, I think, for three, four months, but. It, se it seemed at the time seem seemed much longer, um, so that was, uh, and I thought the coupling of the Matt Reeves and what I'd seen him do in Cloverfield um, and the remake of Let Them In, I thought him and this material would de would deliver something, you know, special. And I think he's, I think he's done a remarkable job with it yeah we're, no i absolutely love the we're, film we're, we're really proud of it i think it's yeah. stunning and your character dreyfus because he's not necessarily a bad man he's yeah. just he's just not a fan of giant man killing apes which is fair enough i I'm, i would probably fall into your category as well well i mean he makes the sort of ultimate sacrifice i mean he wants to save humanity um and uh He's got a lot of, I mean, there's an, a lot of baggage. He's, he's sort of been through this tragedy with his family. So, I mean, he is a little, he's a little biased. He's a bit contaminated with, with, with that, you know. And he's obviously got a military background, but if apes actually decided to take over the world, which is a very real possibility, um, what would you actually do? How would you react, do you think? Um, how would I react to apes taking over the world? Yeah, essentially. Aren't they already? That's <laughs> deep, that's like real deep and layered or something, isn't it? That's and, what it uh, feels like sometimes. And Andy Serkis, of course, uh, yeah. and Toby Kebbell, incredible. Lots of the actors who are using the mocap technology um, make great monkeys. Do you have a desire to do any of that type of work in the future, or do any good animal impressions where you would be? Uh, yeah, I would, I would, yeah. I've done the performance capture. I mean, I've done motion capture, an earlier, ver earlier version of it with, with Bob Zemeckis. I did um, Christmas Carol um, in, in the, same, the same way. I mean, the difference with, play, the, the, with, this, with this particular film is that we took 3D cameras and we went out onto location and shot with natural light, shot with long lenses, you know, so they, that, that's why it has a particular, that's why it looks the, the, the way it does, because we sort of shot it a 3D in a sort of 2D way. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind having a, an, another go at another it. Another stab yeah. at it. Yeah. And one final question, one final dilemma. Um, we were chatting before um, about whether you'd rather fight a giant duck or a giant horse. You mightn't really remember it. But uh, another dilemma was from one of our readers, would you rather eat chocolate flavored poop or poop flavored chocolate? Um, I just, I, um, this is from one of your, from one of our readers sent it in. Yeah, <laughs> we won't, we won't take any more questions from him anyway. No, well, ask him what he or she, or she likes. Okay, and yeah, get uh, back to you on that. Yeah, one. please get back to me. Okay, on that. no bother. Right. Well, listen, congratulations on the film anyway. Thank you. All right. Cheers. All right. Lovely to see you again. Thank you.